Hi guys, NorCal Tenkar here. Getting ready to start the PCT soon, and I wanted to show off some of my backpacking gear in addition to just my fishing gear that I talk about all the time. Kick things off, my backpack itself. I have a Gossamer Gear Mariposa 60 liter. It's pretty big to be honest, and when I'm not carrying my bear can, which I'll get to, uh, when I'm not carrying the bear can, it's often a little too roomy, but I do like having the ability for long water carries and long uh, long food hauls. My favorite thing about it is I can pop this bad boy out and use that as a sit pad when we stop places. So that's really nice. Um, I like the easy access on the water bottles. You can grab them while you're walking. You have some more stuff up high. Big tall side pouch on the um, left side here where I usually keep my Tenkara rods. Got a bunch of patches from some friends on here. Got one for doing the Tahoe Rim Trail, Tenkara Rod Co. Get out and fish. One from Yona Packs, Taco Fly Co. Dust Off Fishing. He's one of my buddies. And Public Land Cleanup. Shout out Shay. But that's what I'll be having on my back. And let me show you what I'll have inside. <clears throat> Start things off. My tent. Gossamer Gear the two it's a two-person tent i carry the shelter maddie carries the stove so you won't see the cooking setup in this but i will make another video about that um it's a very roomy two-person tent it's a non-freestanding tent it's a trekking pole tent so we set it up with our trekking poles that we'll have anyway which i can show you mine right now i have just a couple of fairly budget cascade mountain tech uh, I don't think these are the hiker buddies. <clears throat> these are something else, but I've snapped one of them already and had to replace it, but yeah, I've put a few hundred miles on them easily and they hold up pretty good to rocks and lots of granite. My sleeping setup. Let's see. I have my, my sleeping pad, which is a climate V static. Climate Static V2. Sorry, they make these things so complicated with the naming. Um, just blow it up, lay on it. It's a little noisy when you're laying around, rolling around, but some of the other ones are noisier in my opinion. So, and that's a good budget one. My pillow is just a ultralight air core travel pillow from Cocoon. Just super cheap little, I think it's meant for like flying, but it's great. You just blow it up and... My quilt is a custom 30 degree bag from UGQ Outdoors. Uh, I usually keep it in the stuff sack. Not when I'm at home, I had it in the stuff sack for the video. But it's a big old, nice, fluffy down quilt. And this thing probably doesn't smell the best, but I do love it. Next up will be my food storage. <clears throat> for sections where I need it like the Sierra I'll use a bear can this thing is covered in stickers from the last year everybody if you see one on there tag yourself in the comments or something shout out thank you all so much for all these rad stickers I hate carrying that thing though it's awful it's awful and heavy I much prefer the Ursac which is allegedly bulletproof and I kind of believe it because I had an, an old one that actually some bears tried to get into and they couldn't. So they are bear, they're bear resistant. They're not bear proof because it did crush up a lot of my food. But that's my only, it's a long story. We can go into that another time. But these things are great. I also like to double them with a smelly proof, heavy duty smell, smell proof, scent proof Ziploc bag. Just put my food in there, zip it up tight. Double that with the Ursac and generally you shouldn't have anything mess with you. Hang it in the tree, do a simple bear hang, PCT hang, whatever you want to call it. Uh, if you'd like, I can make a quick video on that. And got to have the long handle spork. It's very important for getting in those, getting in those deep Ziplocs. I'm going to get into my food in another video. So I'll show you about how I, how I cook and how I eat. Um, probably also in the Sierras, possibly earlier when I get the bear can, I'll get my micro spikes 
and I can post a picture of how you put those on your shoes and they're kind of like uh, tire chains for your feet. They really help a lot in ice. They make dangerous, I wouldn't say they make dangerous conditions safe. They help a whole lot. I have a Frog Tog Emergency Poncho. It's just an ultralight poncho for thunderstorms. When we do get into Washington, I don't have it here apparently, but when we do get into Washington and some of the rainier sections, I have real rain gear. Uh, mountain hardware jacket and heli hansen pants but the clothing that i'll be carrying with me for the better most of it is going to be my base layer <clears throat> an odd low long sleeve base layer shirt super warm super nice super light and patagonia base layer pants same thing light warm ideal uh, maddie bought me a melanzana these things are hard to come by here in California, so big thank you to her. This will be my warm layer, and then a puffy in case we get too cold. Just a simple mountain hardware down jacket, nothing too wild. The clothes that I'll be wearing, oh, can't forget, also I have a beanie, Carhartt beanie, and Hestra gloves, super warm gloves, only... They're not that heavy and they really just, they're super warm. So when I do get cold, but what I'll be wearing on the day, just on the daily Patagonia baggies, seven inch baggies. These things are super roomy, super breathable. And they're just great. And a UV, UV sun hoodie. I can't think of the brand of this one. Any brand is great. They're all, they all do pretty much the same thing. I don't know if the SPF actually does a whole lot, but just blocking the sun helps. So, and then <clears throat> I'll be bringing three pairs of socks, two pairs of sock liners. One of each will be on my feet at all times. Uh, I like darn tough socks. They're a little bit pricey, but you get a lifetime warranty with them and they're good for it because I've redeemed, I think five pairs now. And the Injinji sock liners. When I did the Tahoe Rim Trail, I got horrible, horrible, horrible blisters. So ever since I switched to Injinji's, that has never happened. I'll probably switch my camp shoes. Right now I have Tevas that are just kind of for when I want a wet weight at camp or something, but I don't want my shoes to be wet the next day or I don't want to do it barefoot per se. I need a pair of camp sandals, not need, want a pair of camp sandals. Uh, my shoes that'll be on my feet, Ultra Lone Peak 5s to start out the trail. Got this new pair in like gray orange. I think they're pretty sleek. I'm excited to, I'm excited to get those dirty. And a pair, pair of gaiters to keep the rocks out. These are just cheap Ultra brand gaiters and cheap sunglasses to protect my eyes, polarized so I can help see the fish. And one of them little neck lanyards. Cause I don't always like to put it on my hat. It gets weird when you have the uh, sun hoodie on. My water system. Generally, I'll probably have two smart liter, smart water, life water, one liter bottles. Carry two of those with me. Probably at all times. I might switch down to one liter here and there. I use a Catadyne Be Free water filter. Super easy. You just scoop up the water. Let it trickle in here and just because it's a nice pliable bag, it's easy to fill up. Screw that on and you squeeze it out, ready to drink. Nice and easy. I like to bring a collapsible cup because I like to have cereal and cocoa and I don't like to have either of those out of a bag. So this nice little light collapsible cups, really nice. Um, clip to one of my shoulders will be my emergency beacon just on the off chance something happens in an unforeseen accident I'll be able to signal for help in the event of a small incident I do have a tiny first aid kit I use one of these sweet little bags from Tankara Rodco uh, mine is as about as basic as you can get I have band-aids alcohol pads, some moleskin for blisters, a bag with some ibuprofen and Benadryl, and some AAAs for my headlamp, which I'll get to in a minute. 
If you have some suggestions for other small things that I can throw in there, let me know, but I'm not trying to bring a huge extravagant first aid kit. Um, I, I understand that there's things that are important, but you also can't prep for everything out there or else you'll bring the whole kitchen sink. I have a, I also have a mosquito bug net for when it just gets too buggy. That'll be in my little bivy bag along with my first aid kit. In my bivy bag, I just have this cheap little REI thing. Uh, my headlamp will also be in there. Maddie just got me this Petzl Tika headlamp. Pretty excited about that. It's got a red light. My old headlamp didn't have a red light, so that'll be nice for doing night hiking and playing around in the tent. Um, big old anchor. I think I got a 20,000 amp battery pack to start the trail. Yes. And a couple of just tiny little cords because I don't, I've, before I've had these big, long, huge cords and they end up getting bent and then it doesn't want to charge right. So the shorter the cord, the better, I figure. We'll see if I regret that. And I think that just leaves my fishing stuff, which I'll cover in another video, which I think I've already posted at this point, and I'll put a link for that at the end of the video. And that'll just be a Yona pack strapped to one shoulder in a Kari fly box, loaded with as many flies as I can carry, two spools of line, and I'm probably going to end up taking both the bear tooth rod and the Yari rod from Tenkara Rod Co. I really can't decide between the two and what's two extra ounces, I guess. I'm not going to bring a net, so I think I can afford the extra rod. And that way, when I run into someone who might be curious about what I'm doing, I can offer them my, uh, I can offer them my other rod and just fish for a while, show them what's up. If it's at camp, yeah, hang out, catch a few fish for a couple hours. Probably not, but I don't realistically see having that much time. But we'll, we'll see what happens. It'd be nice to let someone else try. Um yeah i think other than myself that's about all i'm going to be taking this hat because it is mesh in case i do need a net of fish it'd be better than nothing um yeah if you have any questions about any of my gear or want to suggest anything let me know drop it in the comments thanks everybody get out and fish